Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the Stable Pro all-in-one mini stack from GEPRC. In this video I'm going to go over its features and specs and measure the output strength of the included VTX. Inside the box along with the Stable mini stack you can find a simple linear antenna with an MM6 connector, a frequency table and also instructions for how to manually configure the VTX, a 220 microfarad 35 volts capacitor, and finally, two bags that contain plenty of connectors for hooking your FD camera and radio receivers, four M2 screws, nuts, and spare rubber spacers. The new Gapper C Stable All in One Mini Stack is available in three versions Pro, Advanced, and Basic. The Pro version, which is the one I have, features an F7 flight controller with dual ICM2689 on both gyro chips that works simultaneously. Both simple and advanced versions are using an F4 flight controller with a single MPU6000 gyro chip and all versions are bundled with a BLL32 4-in-1 ESC. Both Pro and advanced versions are using a 35A one whereas the basic version is using a 30A one. In addition, the VTX is identical on all versions and now as you can see it is using an M6 connector instead of an IPX1 like the first generation of the Gepersty Stable. It features 48 channels and supports smart audio using the IRC Trump protocol and it has a selectable output strength of 25, 100, 200, 400 and 500 millivolts. The bolts are connected to each other using pin headers which is going to keep everything organized However, this is not my favorite method because in my experience, if one of the connectors break, it's going to be pretty hard to fix it. On the VTX, you can find pads for soldering the audio, smart audio, video in, ground and plus 5 volts in pads. However, you can't find matching pads on the flight controller, so you should note that you are pretty much limited to using the included VTX. The outer dimensions of the stable mini stack are 31.1 by 30.8 by 17.1 millimeters, and it weighs 16.89 grams, including the four M2 screws. Now let's measure the output strength of the VTX. When it's set to 25 millivolts, I'm getting around 40 millivolts. When it's set to 100 millivolts, I'm getting around 210 millivolts. When it's set to 200 millivolts, I'm getting around 350 millivolts. When it's set to 400 millivolts, I'm getting around 530 millivolts. And finally, when it's set to 500 millivolts, I'm getting around 630 millivolts. Overall, the Gepro C Stable Pro looks like a pretty promising all in one 20 by 20 stack. Its flight controller features five free watt ports, so you can connect it to pretty much every peripheral that you will need. And don't let the sides fool you, you can also use it on bigger builds. For example, I used the Helination Talon stack on this 6 inch build and so far it seems to perform well. In addition, so far I had a very good experience with the iFlight 6X Mini, which is a similar product. And the problem I've been having with this all-in-one stack is that the VTX doesn't perform that well. And hopefully this new VTX by Gepper C is going to perform better. I'm going to feature this mini stack on one of my next build, so stay tuned in order to see how it's going to perform. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.